So what Nietzsche meant when he was talking about uh, God is God is dead, uh, this is what he meant. Okay, so imagine um, we have what we know, right? And that is articulated through words, maybe through stories. And then there is what we know little about. And then this is mostly this mostly occurs through mystical experience or through dreams, right? And then outside that, there is what we have no idea about, right? Okay, so you have to understand this. Imagine you are arguing with someone and maybe they at some point in the argument, they snap and they become very angry and they cry. And then after they have cried, they discover what was actually bothering them, right? And and even if in some sense it doesn't have anything to do with you, the you know the what that means is that thoughts rise up from the body, right? And and you can know things even though you don't, you are not able to 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 articulate them. So we have a way in which we can understand things, even though we can't express them, right? So. Imagine a circle, right? In the, at the center of the circle, there is what is articulated, what we do know. Outside that circle, there is another circle of what we we know little about, and so that is articulated through dreams or mystical experience. And then outside of that, there is what we have no idea about, right? That is how reality is expressed uh, uh, among human beings, right? So the, the mystics and the artists live at the border of of what we don't know and what we know what is clearly articulated right and then as i've said remember you can know something even though you are not able to articulate it right and so in some sense what that what that means is that what is articulated is usually built upon our dream right what is articulated is built upon our dream now these two these two things tend to be in sync right what is articulated is on top is in sync with the dream that we have the dream like state that we have and so what nietzsche was saying was that if these two things are out of sync then you have a sort of a sickness of the spirit and this sort of sickness of the spirit is whereby the dream is out of sync with what is articulated and so what happens is that you think what you don't act out and we, we, you act out things that you don't dream right and so this this is a sort of a sickness of the spirit and so the cure to this sickness of the spirit becomes looking for an integrated system of of belief right a, a, an integrated system of belief and representation such as uh, uh, such as an ideology right so you maybe turn to something like marxism or you turn to an ideology such that such as the one that was pushed pushed by nazi germany during um, um during the nazi times right so you turn to an ideology that is extreme or maybe you turn to you know religious extremism right right so you turn to an ideology that is extreme and and so what this happens is that and you know an ideology tends to be tends to be a parasite on the proclivity of human beings to want to believe in something right so that's what an ideology is it's a, it's a parasite on the human proclivity to want to believe in something right and so the problem with an ideology is that it leads us to a catastrophe and so what nietzsche was saying was that once we destroy the belief in the God ideal, one, it will be like knocking off the foundation of human civilization, right? And so the building will be sowing between extreme ideology and nihilism, right? And so, and he predicted that, that millions of people will later come to die because of, of you know, removing the god ideal and following ideology. And that is what came to happen in in in. in the gul in in the gulags, right? Uh, as if you read um, Alexander Sozinitsul uh, Gulag Archipelago, you know millions later died because of of belief in ideology. So that is what Nietzsche meant when he said that God is dead. He meant that when we be when we remove the belief the belief in 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 a god, 
since our civilization since the since the days of evolution have been built upon belief in a belief in an ideal being we will be knocking off the foundation of our civilization and so what will happen is that we will later on now turn to na- either nihilism or an, a belief in a, in extreme ideology so i'll continue this in the next video stay tuned